Hey, good morning there, sweet peas. Basic Purple Mom Myra here, and I want to talk about lying in the sand. So recently, I don't know if you guys um, have seen, but it actually, I was heard, I haven't seen yet, it made national news. Yesterday, uh, we had one of the high schools in our county. So last Monday, we had um, pretty much all the schools were, were being involved in the um, walkout mask mandatory Monday is what they called it. So all the kids stayed home from school, they, whatever the situation. Well, yesterday, one particular high school in our county decided to do that and take a stance. And there were probably about 50 kids that stood up, refused to wear a mask. There were parents that were outside the school grounds um, with signs and kind of supporting those youth. And those kids were sent to an alternative room basically a detention room because they wouldn't wear a mask. Well, one teacher stood up with them, one teacher in the high school. Now there are several teachers in the high school that do support um, no mask or, or, or the no mandate thing for the jabby jabby and the mask. One teacher decided to take a step further and actually stood up. He was put on administrative leave. Now, he had spoke at the last school board meeting. He's, he's been very vocal about everything, but he spoke at the last school board meeting and he talked about the line in the sand and you know where where is that line in the sand? It, and to him, it's already been drawn. You have drawn the line in the sand and now it's time to fight kind of situation. And that really got me thinking. Now, this high school was not a high school that my daughter was at. This was a different high school. Um, and if I would have known a lot sooner, I still would have been there to support that high school because we do have a lot of friends and family that are friends that go to that high school. But um, I have to, uh, I actually have to watch it and uh, try to find the article and see because I'd be really curious as to what their spin on it is. Anyway, and I think that's kind of where we're at right now. So we have seen a lot that are that is going on right now. We kind of, every day there's something new. Um, we're dealing with all the kind of crap that keeps piling up. And whether it's the shortages or the higher prices or the jabby jabby, people losing their job or the facey thingy um, or whatever the situation, we just see every day it seems like there's more and more and more piling up. And we're starting to see what other people have been talking about for quite some time. And we're seeing more of the possibility of the bigger picture that they've been talking about of the possibility of that happening. So we have to really prepare ourselves, absolutely 100%, continue to prepare yourself. Um, and one of my favorite um, prepared homesteader, I'll just say it that way, um, guys, he said it best. He said, if you don't feel like you're not prepared enough, you're not alone because nobody is ever fully prepared for whatever situation. You're never fully prepared. Um, so if you feel kind of defeated that you don't have enough money to get fully prepared or you don't feel like you have enough to be fully prepared don't stop keep doing what you're doing because anything is better than nothing so and i think that's a really i i was like it kind of made me feel better because i get where i feel like i'm not prepared enough and i don't have enough and i'm not doing enough whatever and so i get very overwhelmed and very um very down on myself that i should have done more i should be doing more kind of thing and, and i get very anxious and very overwhelmed so when he said that, I, I kind of was like, okay, something is better than nothing. And I do have something. So don't stop. Just continue to do what you're doing and continue to grow your stores and continue to do whatever you can that you can. Food and water are the main, food, water, shelter, obviously, are the main things. Everything else is kind of, I don't want to say bonus, but everything else that you add to it is definitely going to help the situation. But we're seeing all of this kind of pile up, pile up, pile up, pile up. And with everything that's going on, you have to decide where to draw the line. Where is your line in the sand? Because mine, to be honest, I don't know if it's 100% there, but I'm telling you, it's about 95% there. Now, what is that 5% that's gonna tip me over? I don't know, but I feel that it's really close. I feel that it's really, really close. So you have to decide. What is your line in the sand? When is it that that line is finally drawn and you go, I am done, I am tired, I am standing up, I am not dealing with this anymore, I am fighting. When is your line in the sand drawn? You have to decide that. Nobody can decide it for you. Everyone has to decide when enough is enough in whatever situation, whether it's the government, whether it's the 
virus situation, whether it's schooling, whether it's work, whatever the situation, you have to decide when is enough. When it, when are you done? When is that line in the sand completed that you go, all right, that's it. When is the tipping point? Um, nobody can decide that from you, but you do need to sit down. You really need to think about things and say, what is going to be that tipping point? Because once that happens, is there going back from that point? I don't know. You have to decide that as well. Do you go back at that point and go, okay, we need to just take a breath. Or do you just push forward and go, nope, I'm fighting. I'm whatever the situation is. Um, but we all have to decide what that line in the sand is. And once we cross it, most of the time you can't go back depending on the situation. And that's something else that you really need to think about. But continue to do what you're doing, continue to prep, um, but figure out what your line in the sand is. And when you know that you've crossed that, make sure you have a plan. Make sure you know what's going on moving forward from there. So just some thoughts to think about. Um, I hope you guys have a great, amazing day and I will talk to you soon. Take care and we'll see you next time.